here at AACR 2015, we ask the question, what do you do to purify cell-free DNA in an automated fashion? Dahlia, what can you tell me about your poster here? So we have an exciting new chemistry based on our MagMax product, where we use magnetic beads to isolate any volume of circulating free DNA samples uh, right out of plasma samples. So with that, because it's a magnetic bead, you can alter the volumes any way you want, so you don't have to leave behind any of your sample. You can put your entire sample into the workflow. And I understand this is the Kingfisher Flex system, right? It does a right. lot of samples. Yes, the Kingfisher Flex, it can be used to automate our MagMax chemistry. And with that, you can do up to 192 samples in an eight-hour workday. Wow. So that's the magic of magnetic beads. And then I understand the illusion volume is really small. Right, so one thing when you're working with circulating cell-free DNA samples is you don't want to lose any of that DNA because you never know which molecule of DNA has a mutation that you're looking for. So with the MagMax chemistry, you are eluding in 15 microliters, which is the perfect volume to go directly into the ion amplicity panels. People normally concentrate via precipitation and they worry about loss of material, is that correct? That is correct. And here it's just part of our workflow. And then further down the poster, you use the ion amplicity cancer hotspot, is that correct? I do love using our ion amplicity panels. So for this particular um, experiment, I was using the Ion Amplicy Cancer Hotspot Panel version two. And what we're specifically looking at is how well it performs with circulating cell-free DNA. So here I used non-small cell lung cancer archived research samples. With that, um, we were able to look at the performance of our Ion Amplicy panel with the circulating cell-free DNA, specifically looking at on-target reads, uniformity, as well as the coverage on a per-amplicon basis. So we were lucky enough with our research samples that we had enough of one particular sample to do triplicates using our MagMax chemistry isolation and another using a different isolation method, uh, using KIT-Q. And with that, we were able to see great reproducibility within the triplicates, as well as very comparable results between the two kits themselves. We also specifically looked at allelic frequencies since that's most important when you're looking at circulating cell-free DNA. So comparing our MagMax chemistry isolation to the KIT-Q isolation method, we were seeing very, very similar allelic frequencies called. Yeah, I noticed that. It was lying right on top of each other, It was. Right? We were very excited with those results. That's great. If you're interested in downloading the poster yourself, it's available online, and stay tuned here on Behind the Bench.